Hello friends, in this topic, Trichinella spiralis. Trichinella spiralis is a worm which lives in the intestine of man. The adult worms live in the intestine of man. The infection caused by it is known as trichinosis or trichiniasis. The larvae remain encysted in the striated muscles of man. So the adults live in the intestine and the larvae they are not uh, they are not uh, passed in the stool they are not passed in the feces but they remain encysted in the striated muscles of the host morphology of the adult worms of trichinella spiralis the adult worm is a small white worm just visible to the naked eye it is one of the smallest nematodes infecting human beings trichinella spiralis worm is a, one of the smallest nematodes infecting human beings the anterior half of the body is thin and pointed and well adapted for burrowing into the mucosal epithelium. The male worms are smaller 1.4 to 1.6 mm long. They have two conical papillae on either side of the tail end. The male worm dies after fertilization. The female worms are 3 to 4 mm long. They are viviparous and they give rise to 1000 to 1500 larvae during the life cycle of about 15 to 17 weeks. The larvae of Tichinella spiralis, they are not passed in feces. Instead, they go into the circulation and from the circulation they go into the striated muscles. The larvae are about 100 micrometer long, uh, 6 micrometer wide and from the intestine they go to the circulation and the, from there to the striated muscles they develop inside a cyst and the cyst is a lemon shaped cyst the larvae remain coiled inside a lemon shaped cyst and along the longitudinal axis of the muscle fiber remember this is an important point the larvae of trichinella spiralis they remain coiled inside a lemon shaped cyst and the cyst remains longitudinally along the muscle fibers. Calcified larvae, they appear black in color. Here in this photograph, you can see that the encysted larvae is seen inside a lemon shaped cyst and the cyst is along the longitudinal axis of the muscle fiber. Here you can see two photographs. One photograph shows black colored that is calcified larvae they appear black in color and the other photograph shows a lemon shaped cyst with a coiled larva. Epidemiology Trichinella spiralis infection is worldwide in distribution. It is a zoonotic disease. Example of zoonotic nematode infection may you can enumerate Trichinella spiralis. It is a zoonotic disease. The primary host is pig and the pig acts as a reservoir also for human beings. Uh, it is sporadically transmitted to human beings through ingestion of undercooked meat containing encysted larva. Particularly pork or beer meat is responsible. Pig being the primary host and uh, trichinella spiralis moves from one flesh eating animal to another flesh eating animal. The cycle may be among may various animals like rat to rat, rat to pig, pig to pig and pig to rat. These are common cycles of trichinella spiralis and accidentally human beings can also acquire when they consume the meat of pigs. This is the life cycle of trichinella spiralis which shows that the parasite passes from one flesh eating animal to another, another flesh eating animal be among the pigs, among the rats and other animals, other rodents. And when human being consume the meat of such animals, then it may enter the human intestine. Ingestion by the host, undercooked or semi-cooked meat is consumed by a human host, it which contains encysted larva. These encysted larva, they are ingested and the cyst wall is digested by the acid pepsin in the stomach. The larvae are released in the duodenum or jejunum. They molt about four times and they convert into adult worms. Mating will take place and the male will die after fertilization. The female will live for about three to four months and she will give rise to about 1500 larvae. 
these larvae they penetrate the mucosa and go to the lymphatics and from there into the bloodstream and from there into the striated muscles so remember that the larvae released by the mating of the adult worms they are not passed in feces instead they go into the circulation and from the circulation they go to the striated muscles the larvae in the skeletal muscles they they penetrate the sarcolemma they enter the muscle fiber develop in the muscle at at the time of deposition they are about 100 micrometer long but they can grow about 10 times bigger in the muscle they coil in the striated muscle become encysted and sexes can differentiate by about third week which muscles are mainly involved in trigeminalis paralis infection in man the extra ocular muscles of eye tongue deltoid pectoral muscles intercostal muscles gastrocnemius muscles and diaphragm these are the muscles which are primarily involved in man the cyst are abundant near the insertion of muscle this is also an important point please remember cysts are abundant near the insertion of the muscle and muscle biopsy is generally taken from the deltoid muscle and in the biopsy you can see up up to 1000 larvae can be seen per gram of muscle fibers up to 1000 larvae can be seen per gram of muscle fibers and encysted larvae are viable for many years and human is the dead end host from man did it the cycle does not move forward but if it is pigs or rats then it may keep rotating among these host and pigs they act as reservoir host for this trichinellus paralis infection the clinical disease most of them are asymptomatic in which less than 10 larvae are seen per gram of muscle mass and symptomatic infection in have greater than 100 larvae per gram of muscle mass the intestinal stage migratory stage and muscle stage are three stages of infection in the intestinal stage adult worms they cause abdominal pain nausea vomiting and diarrhea in the migratory stage it may last for 1 to 4 weeks during which the larva they migrate and go through, through the circulation to the striated muscles during this migratory stage the larva can lead to pneumonitis they can lead to muscle tenderness neurological symptoms sense splinter hemorrhages beneath the nail then comes the muscle stage which is the third stage it starts about 3 weeks after infection it may last for several months and the larva will lead to inflammation around the muscle cells which are infected it will lead to muscle tenderness edema and spasm hypersensitivity reaction can occur the skeletal muscles are on the only muscles involved especially of the orbitals the tongue the intercostal and the diaphragm muscles cardiac and respiratory failure can lead to death in laboratory diagnosis outbreaks occur due to improperly cooked pork or beer meat in uh, diagnosis muscle biopsy is taken from the deltoid and gastrocnemius muscles encysted larvae can be seen along the longitudinal axis in a lemon shaped cyst the larvae will be coiled inside a lemon shaped cyst along the longitudinal axis of the deltoid and gastrocnemius muscles the muscle tissue is digested in the artificial gastric juice and the sediment is obta- obtained for larva and examined hna section can be done in serology elisa can be done and blood marked eosinophilia is there for treatment mebendazole and corticosteroids are used and for prevention education and care are important points with this we end this session thank you